Morning everybody, this is Mirto with Get Outside. Today I am taking a little hike starting at McKelvey Park and heading over to Bogus Ford. I believe it's a three mile trail just from one point to the other. I'm gonna try and do the whole trail back and forth. So it's gonna be about six miles. I will be tracking this with my All Trails app. So I'll get exact mileage uh, and, and time and all that stuff. But today it's just me. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the trail. So we're starting here. We're gonna make our way all the way down up to about right there. According to this, that's about 3.36 miles. So let's do it. It's just a small park in the middle of the city. And right there, all that brush, that's that oil. It's a real nice little place. My favorite is still Hugh Ramsey, but uh, I'd have to go around the park three times <laughs> in order to do the distance I want. So. Here we are. But anyways, I won't bore you with too much banter. I'll let you all see what's going on when we find something a little more interesting. There's these columns holding up the bridge, but they're all painted. It's very interesting. I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting, but those up there are also painted. They're, they're all painted. Here's that bridge. This is probably one of the most narrow parts of the Arroyo that I've ever seen. Of course, I haven't seen much of the Arroyo. So let's say it's the most narrow part so far. I'm not gonna go that way today because today is not really an exploring kind of day. But uh, I just thought that was interesting. Maybe the other guys from Get Outside will come with me next time. I think it's called. See, right over there. You'll see it behind me right now. That's the trail we take to get to the Harlingen Thicket. I think that's also the like, biking trail. Saw a few guys out there on their bikes hollering and carrying on. It's pretty cool. Go 
Lucas Ford. That means I've done 1.5 miles. It feels like 1.5 miles, but the thing is, I'm already getting to the end of it. Originally, I said it was 3.3 miles from point A to point B. Apparently, I was wrong. It's 3.3 miles from point A to point B and then back to point A. But that's all right. Don't know which way to go at this point. There's a trail that goes off to the left, trail that goes off to the right. I'm gonna have to check my map real quick. I think at this point I've crossed over the Arroyo about three times. Not really sure. Someone fishing back there. That's cool. Had the tackle box and his bucket up here. And it's all the fishing ride just sticking up. Just saw the point of it. <laughs> I like fishing, I'm not very good at it. It is what it is. It's uh, more of a blow to the ego because my grandfather was a fisherman. My cousins are fishermen and that and me. It is what it is. So it looks like I'm coming up behind the Bogus Ford dealership. And I'll come out next to it if I'm not mistaken. Then I'm gonna turn around and go back. So there it is, the trailhead. That's two miles. And I think it's only been about 40 minutes. And there's the first little water source I've seen this whole time. Aside from the Arroyo, but I love getting to that. And have one for your dogs. Here it is. We are right there. And now we're gonna make our way all the way back. Should be fun. So I was just thinking to myself, if that was two miles from one trailhead to the other, and I'm gonna go back another two miles, then this is give or take the same mileage we did, me and my wife when we were hiking the Lone Star hiking trail. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, especially because the Lone Star hiking trail is the longest scenic hiking trail in Texas, spanning at, I think a recorded 93 miles from point A to point B. However, they say it's actually more than that with all the little branch offs. There's all sorts of parks that lead to the trail. Anyways, we made it in two miles, completely unprepared. I think we were running low on water. We had the dog with us, who is a little bitty guy. And once he got tired, we either had to stop or carry him. So that's extra weight. We also didn't have appropriate backpacks. I had one of my larger bags. It's a 70 liter completely unnecessary for an overnight, at least the way I want to do it. My wife had a 33 liter. Both of them are Ascend, which is the Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's. Neither one of us were happy with the bags we were wearing. We stopped at REI over there in Houston, which is south of the trail, and uh, got fitted for proper bags. I think we're training. I would do this trail, maybe to four miles, maybe twice in one day. Yeah, I know a lot of through hikers doing the AT do about seven, eight miles, 10 miles to begin with. And then once they get their hiking legs, they do a good 17 to 20. 24 miles in a day, which for me at this point blows my mind. I'm already feeling it, and I've only done 2.3 miles. Okay, so update according to the All Trails app, I've done three miles in 57.08 minutes. I'm proud of that. <laughs> That's three miles in under an hour. Yeah. 
So three miles, that means I am back uh, at the bridge by the second trailhead. So I've still got another mile to go before I get to the original trailhead over at McKelvey Park. Whew, it's a workout. Isn't that beautiful? I love the water. I was on the swim team in high school. It just feels so natural in the water. I don't know how the way to explain it. it feels good. I like being in the water. But anyways, same old trail that you all saw at the beginning. So I'll let you go unless I see anything interesting or there's a need for another update. <laughs> Some guys over there, they got full gear, look at this. Yeah, I didn't want to be a creeper or nothing. They got some crazy helmets on. There's a lot of slopes and ups and downs in the Harlingen thicket over there. I have a feeling they're the ones I heard hollering and going on earlier. Anyhow, we'll catch y'all later. Okay, so, update. I am back at the first bridge, crossing over the Arroyo for the sixth time. This is gonna be the last time too. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. So, almost back to McKelvey. Getting close to the bridge with the colored pillars. I've seen a lot of people on this trail. Very well populated trail. Nice paved road for walking. And it beats to so many different other trails. This has been really fun. I really enjoyed this. I've only been at it for an hour and 11 minutes. Do you, do you think the city did this? And we're back. We are uh, right there now. We did that whole thing. And it says it's a total of 3.36 miles. But I counted four using the all trails. Heading up to the parking lot. There's a lot more cars now than there were before. A lot of bike riders, dog walkers, fishermen, and hikers. So this is where I'm gonna end it for the day. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch y'all next time.